What's up everybody? I am still under the weather, so sorry, but I wanted to show you um, something I've been working on. I had someone contact me about doing a um, flower cast and they wanted a dark base. And so these are the things that I have worked up. I really wanna know what you guys think. So let me know down in the comments below this video. So first things first, I took one of our new charcuterie or serving tray or cheese tray boards and I um, painted it to be more woody looking and it didn't really take a long time but just make sure before you add resin to let this really really dry out because water and resin as you guys know don't mix. So um, I just used a sienna um, ink and I'm just using it and brushing it on in different consistencies and line weights to give it more of a woody greeny type look. And then I am painting the inside where I'm going to put my flowers black. I want the base to be a strong black because I really want the look of having the flowers on black to be awesome. And so once this was dry, I realized that I accidentally got some of the black on the outside. So I decided to give it kind of a burnt or rustic look around the edge of the um, dugout area. And so that's what I did. Just make sure again that it is very, very dry before you add resin into this area because I'm not sure what would happen, but it, it wouldn't be cute. It wouldn't be good water, resin, don't mix. And so now it comes time to pick some flowers. And I just bought these dried flowers on Amazon. You can dry your own. Just make sure that um, you do dry your flowers before you put them in resin because again, resin doesn't like water moisture at all. So these are just pressed and dried and dyed flowers off of Amazon. They are not expensive at all. I think the hardest part of doing something like this is trying to figure out the layout. Obviously, base it in your greenery and then do the little baby's breath accents and then layer in your main um, flowers. So I am just layering it in and I'm sticking them down with just a very small bead of hot glue because I don't want these flowers to float up and they will. So after you get the main layout, make sure everything is balanced. I am using Stone Coat Art Coat Resin. Um, you can definitely use um, a casting epoxy. Just make sure that you mix it fully. I'm using my Istoyo Stand Mixer to mix my Stone Coat Art Coat Resin. Um, but as you could see just a second ago, it left um, some strings of resin from not getting the sides scraped so make sure you do that yourself i'm using one bead of onyx by color passion you can get that and the boards from artisttilldeath.com it wasn't quite deep enough so as you can see i added one more bead of this gel tint it looks really dark in the cup but it is actually not when you get it poured out it's just very intimidating very scary when you first do it um, I am now hitting it with just a little bit of heat to pop the bubbles. If you have any flowers sticking out at this point, just make sure you don't burn your petals when doing this. I did not fill the void all the way <clears throat> so that I could kind of give some depth by layering. I, if this is only one layer of epoxy so far, I'm, then I'm going to just flood it uh, when it's cured up. I didn't want to wait to show you guys what this looks like so it does not have the flood coat on it but it will and it'll look amazing. Haven't decided if I want to make the flood coat dark or not. Probably not. That way it's really bright colors on top and then it looks really deep because of the black that kind of is encasing the other flowers. I also made a pink one and I look forward to um, hearing from you guys of which one you like better the blue one or the pink one anyways thank you guys for watching please be kind to one another because you never know what someone's going through and always remember that we do the test so you don't have to and we'll see you guys in the next video by the way sorry about that uh don't forget that i something 
Oh yeah, you can find all these materials on our website, artistildeath.com. So yeah, thank you guys. Bye. I said bye.